Hey everyone, today we are going to create this class morphism effect in After Effects. Now this one is inspired from the Apple event and you can see that it is completely interactive. That means you can place whatever background you want and the class will interact with that. So let's see how to make this without any third party plugin. So my name is Abhishek and let's get started. Alright, start them in After Effects and I've already created a composition and we have imported this image inside it like this so in order to begin with this effect first we need to create a shape so let's select the rounded rectangle tool now it's completely up to you you can use ellipse polygon tool or rectangle whatever you want but for this one let's stick to this just click and drag so it will create a shape like that now you can search for size and play around with the parameters however you want let's set this to something like 800 and we can like move this to let's say 250 let's search for roundness and i'm going to increase this to something like 50 yeah this looks good to me now we have our basic shape and first we need to change like a couple of things now under this we are going to change its fill and stroke so let's select the shape tool and let's go under the fill and i'm going to lower down its opacity to something like let's say 25 or 30 maybe somewhere around this looks good now we also want a little bit of stroke to this so let's select this and under the stroke Let's just increase it to something like 0.6 or 7 maybe. So something like that looks good to me. Now we have this very nice outline over here. Once you're happy with this, we can select this layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate this. On the bottom one, we can go inside the fill again and just set the opacity to 100. We want this to be like completely visible. But we want it to act as an adjustment layer, not as a solid layer. So for that, you can go inside this layer and over here we have this option. So if I just toggle this button, you can see it will hide this layer, but it will act as a adjustment layer. Now we can add some effects to this. So first let's go under the effects and preset and I'm going to search for Gaussian blur. Let's drag it onto this bottom layer. And if I increase this, you can see now we are able to see the blur only affecting this layer and nothing else also in order to add little bit of distortion or refraction we can search for cc lens effect let's drag it onto this as well now over here you can play around with its value so it's completely up to you, you can just place it however you want let's keep it to the center as well and now it's all up to you if i remove this you can see it will distort our bottom image this is something that you can play around so for this one let's keep it over here now let's enable our Gaussian blur as well so here you can see we have this effect now if i select this layer if i move this you can see none of the layers are moving and we have this very weird sort of effect so now to fix that we have to like parent each and everything to all the layers so first we want this to move with the top layer like that so if i move the top layer you can see that it will move but now we will have to fix the this center of this cc lens effect so for that you can select this layer press p for position let's select this and hold on the alt key and click on this center then just simply pick whip and select this position so now if i select this and move it you can see we won't be able to see the edges because we have parented the center with this now once you're done with this we can stylize this more by simply adding a cc light effect cc light sweep so let's search for it and let's drag it onto this layer like that now you can see we have this very nice clear you can play around with the center so let's place it to this side now if you want to have a really nice highlight edge then you can just set the sweep intensity to zero then you can play around with the edge intensity edge thickness however you want here you can see we have this really nice edge play around with the width as well if you want to have this very soft or if you want to have this very hard edge but for this example, I'm going to like keep it over here and just play around with this width and let's increase it and let's decrease it a little bit so that we have this very nice subtle effect. Now, if I select this, press Ctrl D, you can see we have one more copy of it. For this one, we can change its position. Let's place it over here. We can also rotate it so that it is at the bottom like that now if you want to want them to blend more nicely then you can select both of these effects and you can place them on top of the Gaussian blur now you can see we are able to see the clear but it is very subtle but for this example I'm going to like keep it over here so that we are able to see the hard edge now let's add a little bit of drop shadow to really enhance this so for that we can select this bottom layer press ctrl d and on the bottom one we can hide all of these effects 
you don't want to see anything and the fill also let's set this to 100 and we can remove this as well so that it is a completely opaque let's search for drop shadow effect let's apply it onto this and under this make sure that this shadow only option is checked so that none of the areas are visible then we can lower down the opacity something like that let's play around with the distance and let's just increase the softness quite a bit so here you can see we have added this very subtle shadow down below now if you think that it is also fading your effect so for example if i hide this you can see it will fade our glass effect as well there is one more workaround so what you can do is you can instead of shadow only you can just enable this disable this and after that change the mode to multiply if you're using the white color so now you can see we are able to see the color as well like that so we have added this very nice shadow down below i'm going to keep it like that so we're done with our glass morph effect now if i select this layer and if i move it you can see all the effects are nicely applied and it is moving nicely now you can play around with a couple of these settings so for example let's decrease the Gaussian blur it is too much and let's play with the lens effect so now if i move you can see it will interact with our background now you can use this to add your text whatever you want so if i select the text tool let's just type our text and let's place it in the center let's place this in the center as well so here you can see we have our really nice glass effect and the best thing is that this is completely procedural so if i move anything or any object down below you can see it will automatically change its look based on whatever we have so in this way you can create these kind of glass morph effect and you can also animate them so if i animate just by using the scale we set this to zero and this to zero as well and let's change the let's add a little bit of scaling animation now if i press play you can see we have this animated glass as well let's parent this text to this as well so that everything is animated just like that so in this way you can create these kind of glass morphism effect and these are very premium and you can really enhance your scene by using this effect so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one